What's up, y'all? And thank you so much for tuning in to another video of As Always Aaliyah, where we always... Leah, where we always keep it real. Now, guys, in this video, we're going to have two big brands about to go head to head. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, guys, so as you can see by the title, by the products, I do have my L Organics and Curls, their full collections on deck. Both of these big brands just launched CMOS collections. So I am super excited today to be bringing both brands to you, and we're gonna do a little comparison. Now, just a disclaimer, there's no best brand. You know, both brands are really, really good brands. We just wanna see how the products actually perform in our hair and what the difference and similarities are and that's what we're going to be doing in this video i do also have my perm rods here guys we're going to do a perm rod set i'm so excited but let me not jump ahead of myself let's go over all the products that i have here and then we'll jump into the styling process to see which brand outweighs the other all right guys so as you can see my hair is wet i did just get out the shower i actually wind up using the uh sea moss collection from curls and i wash my hair with their powerhouse sea moss cleanser and then i followed up with their 92 mineral glow and grow conditioner and i really enjoyed both the um shampoo and or the cleanser and the conditioner i just felt like it did a really good job with my hair they smelled great they were lightweight and i was actually really impressed and i am so looking forward to trying their styling products because i hear they got some pretty cool stuff that they just launched now um myel organics also did launch an anti-shedding shampoo and conditioner which i will show you so here are the two products from my l organics now this is their anti-shedding collection guys and they also even have a leave-in and a hair mask as well so majority of their products were shower products from the my l organics collection and their only styling product is the curl pudding so that's what we're going to be using today to compare to uh the curl side yeah so it's pretty interesting that most of the products that um, my l organics treat it are um shower products which is nothing wrong with that i just find it interesting these are all the styling products from curls they have included in their collection the moisture magnet sea moss curl cream they have the nourish and shine sea moss foam and they also have the infuse this is the sea slip mineral infused curl slime and these are all the styling products i love styling products guys so i am so excited Excited to get my hands on some of these we are going to be using at least one or two of these to compare to the uh, my L organic side because we're literally going to put our hair half and half and kind of compare both to just see what the similarities and differences are between both brands and like I said we're going to be doing a um perm rod set today let's go ahead and get started now just a disclaimer this is not a video on how to do perm rods i'm going to be actually be getting through this style pretty quickly but throughout the installation process i am going to be explaining just what i notice as i'm using the product so what i want to do first is just put a nice part down the middle of my head uh, there's already one there but we are going to define it no we love a defined part all right i'm going to pin one half up and out the way my hair is so soft guys i used again the um the cleanser and the conditioner from curls my hair smells really good and it's nice and soft and detangled all right so this side is up we're actually going to do curls on this side and we're going to do the my yellow granics on this side so let me go ahead and part this section and then we'll get started are you ready we're about to go head to head guys i'm really excited so let's go ahead and start with my organics very first thing i'm going to do is take their anti-shedding leave-in conditioner and we're going to put some of this all over the back section of our head i'm just going to start to oh man it's a little bit runny that's what i'm realizing but it's okay quite all right quite all right not too much because we definitely do want it to dry oh it smells good y'all okay bring that moisture in here all right my l all right so there's the uh leave-in didn't do too much but it definitely gave me some moisture and then we're going to do the curl pudding but what i want to do first is just start to separate it out now because we're doing a perm rod set baby your parts are non-existent at this moment get your finger and start the part of 
back section right at the nape and that's gonna be like our first section that we do and we'll probably put two perm rods back there so let me twist everything else up and out the way if you're not working with a specific section twist it out the way so you don't get confused and also by twisting it into like a little bantu knot it's gonna help pertain that moisture I know if I just leave it out the moisture will drop really fast I have um, high porosity hair so I have to be able to lock in the moisture just by twisting it out the way <laughs> Just like that, it's going to hold a lot more, more, more moisture. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and comb, brush out that back section with my Felicia Leatherwood. Okay, y'all see it, y'all see it. Got my prime rod ready. Let's go ahead and get into this curl pudding because this is going to be the main event for uh, my L Organics. And let's see what this curl pudding looks like. Ooh. Oh, I got some on my nose. It smells okay. It smells clean. Like I'm getting like laundry day. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit. Again, we're going to break that that back section down into two but here is a little bit that I'm going to be using on my finger if not we can always add more which is probably looking like we're going to need a little bit more just a little bit I don't want it soaked but uh we do need something on the rod do you need a little bit of moisture all right so I moved up hopefully you guys can take a better look at what I'm doing so if y'all can't see I don't know what to tell y'all this is as close as I can get I'm getting it all up in the screen now friends so I'm just taking a little bit more i am realizing that i feel like i need a lot of product to hydrate my hair i don't know what's going on like it's not like like how i need it to be for a perm rod set so i am uh realizing that i need a lot of product for the my l organic side which is interesting all right so what you're gonna want to do is take your perm rod and first secure your ends how I secure my ends is I ravel over them. They ain't going nowhere. And then I'm just going to start to work my way up the rod. Now I am not wrapping. I'm rolling. And then you realize how I have like those back sections. That's the nape, honey. That's the kitchen, baby. That's the kitchen. We're going to work the kitchen right on into the rod. All right. I got it in there. And then pop it in. All right, let me do that one more time. I definitely need more product again. So I'm not liking that I have to keep reaching for product. The nape of the head, it's going to act a little bit funny. It's not going to be as smooth. It is okay. Okay, and the reason I'm rolling it like this is because I just think it's going to dry faster. If I would have wrapped it and it would have been a thicker curl, thicker curls means longer drying time. We ain't got time for that. So we're going to do the rolling method, how I'm doing it and showing you guys on camera. Next section, friend, working right through this, okay? I'd rather do more perm rods and have less hair on the rod than do bigger sections and have more hair. Because again, we are trying to cut back on drying time. Perm rods definitely take a long time to dry all right let me take some more of the sea moss and we'll see what's what hopefully it comes out okay just with the curling pudding take the ends secure your ends around the rod first that is step one baby secure your ends around that rod they are secure so now i can start working my way up the rod and realize how I am just rolling it flat onto the rod like a flexi rod rolling it very flat funny how I just keep like needing more product like my hair feels like it's drying out really fast I'm not sure what's going on I don't like that I don't like that another rod right here my friend we are rotting it up all right look at that y'all we already got like four in okay we are getting somewhere okay guys all right so i just finished up with the myel organic side um i don't want to say anything bad <laughs> i just think that if maybe if they had like a mousse or maybe a gel i would have got like a sleeker hold but i did realize that i had to keep going back and getting applying more product because i just felt like it wasn't buildable but i don't want to say anything bad until we see the ending results um and yeah so let's go ahead and move on to the curl side and see what they're all about all right y'all so moving right along to the other side again i'm going to go ahead and take this half and i'm going to split it right down the middle creating a front and a back section going to pin up the front half out the way and we're going to focus right on that back section again take your finger friend go ahead and just hook it in there and hook off um just a bottom section right by the nape and now we're going to twist everything up up and out the way so i'm going to clip this up out the way and now we're focused right here so the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the moisture magnet sea moss curl cream from curl 
And we're just going to take a little bit of this and put it right on that back section. Feels, it sm ooh, it smells good. It has a fragrance to it. Okay. Feeling it. We're feeling it. A little bit of like a flower smell or scent, I should say. Now, this is the Sea Moss Slip, a mineral infused curl slime, y'all. The newest product from Curls. So let's go see what this is all about. Ooh. Oh, y'all. <gasps> it's like a jam. Wow. When you grab it, you think you're grabbing like um a gel, but then it has like a slime. Wow, that's interesting. I'm here for it. Do you guys see it? Look, ee, it's like it's like a ge a gel at first, but then it like stays onto your fingers like a little slime. Ooh, definitely reminds me of slime. That's crazy, and it doesn't even look like I'll need a lot. So we're just gonna start off with just a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it. That is what I wanted. <laughs> Thank you for the. I need that. I need that with my curls, and look what it did. Oh! See, you need the gel, friend. You need the gel, okay? Amazing. I'm nervous. Now, this side's probably gonna take a while to dry because that definitely did just add, like, intense moisture. Crazy. I am gonna go ahead and separate this section into two. And now all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and secure the end. Start to ravel on up, friend. Work your way on up. That end was not secure, honey. That end was not secure, but it's okay. It's slippery. Like, that's what C Mall it, this is what sea moss reminds me of like that slime that goo that slip that is what sea moss is supposed to give you honey okay i don't know what that curl pudding was doing but you just need a little bit of the slime just a little bit of the slime and you should be good to go my friend all right let's do that one more time all right now i'm secure my end again and then just work your way on up since it is a little bit more slippery on the side it definitely is a little bit harder <laughs> to grip but i'm working on it there definitely is a lot harder to grip but it's okay we're gonna get this together friend a little bit a little bit of curl cream because the section's really already hydrated and that curl slime oh my god so not adding too much with a little bit of slime I'm here for the slime. Oh my gosh. It is very moisturizing. I like it. I am here for the slime and you don't need a lot. You do not need a lot. Wow. Like that's crazy. Uh, it's given that. <laughs> that's what you wanted to do. Like that's what you wanted to do. When you got dry curls, you want that. <laughs> Y'all gonna make a meme out of me. <laughs> I'm definitely getting like a different response to this side. Wrapping it around and securing it. And then I'm gonna work my way up the curl. I really don't mind breaking it down to small sections because these are wet. Like this is wet. The, the other side was not wet. This is gonna take a while to dry. I'm probably going to run out of perm rods because I have to make the section smaller because that slime got my hair wet. <laughs> it is really wet on this side, which is good. It's nice and moisturized, which is going to take a long time to dry. <laughs> Which I'm not looking forward to. Cool. All right. So we already got some in the back. I remember on this side, I only had to put in four. So it's funny that I have six over here. I had to break these down a lot smaller just so they can draw this. The drying time can speed it up. But let's go ahead and continue with the slime. I'm feeling it, y'all. I am here for the slime. <laughs> Woo! Hey y'all, so I feel like that took forever. This side had so much slip to it, I barely could grip the rod and hook it on and everything like that. But we got through it nevertheless. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know, friend. I don't know. This gel, this um, this slime gave me life. I really, really, really liked it. I didn't like all the products that I tried. The curl slime was probably my favorite. It had so much slip. You didn't need a lot. It smelled good. And I just think that the um the rods are gonna react well to to this side this the my organic side i had to keep adding the pudding oh 
No, I ain't see that. <laughs> I had to keep adding the pudding on to the, the, the hair. So I'm just interested. I know this side's going to dry a lot faster because every time I even applied the product, it was like it wasn't being applied. I don't know. But I don't know, friend. We got the curl pudding versus the curl slime. Which one, y'all? Which one is going to take the lead? Which one's going to take it? The curl pudding or the curl slime? Comment down below. No cheese. Eating. that's about it for the night girl i'm about to sit under the dryer maybe for an hour or two and then i'm putting a bonnet on and your girl is going to bed it is 12 56 at night yeah i'm going to bed <laughs> i'll see you guys in the morning deuces <laughs> hi guys good morning so y'all i put these in friday night no saturday night i put my perm rods in it is now monday morning excuse me if i have a raspy voice i'm just waking up but i do have to get these perm rods out of my head so let me show you guys how i slept these past few nights okay i did sit under the dryer twice i think twice for like two two hour sessions so they're definitely 100% dry. I did take some out to feel them. When you're taking them out to feel if they're dry, make sure you're feeling at the root. Let's see if we see any differences. Again, this is the Myel Organics side. This is the Curls side. Now, I did realize that the Curls, and some of them already, some of them popped. I can see that, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, I can see that there's not a lot of frizz on this side. Versus this side, it looks a little bit frizzier, but I don't know if you guys can tell just by looking. I mean, so far, so good. We're not going to know until we unravel them. I'm going to go ahead and take out the Myel Organics side first, and then I'll take out the Curl side next and we'll do our final comparison but let's go ahead and start taking these out now in order to take out a perm rod all you gotta do is unhook it like this i unravel it a little bit so i can start to wrap it around just like that that's it friend perm rod is out um i forgot to put some oil on my hands y'all need some oil we're gonna put some oil on our fingertips now i'm just gonna start to separate and re-ravel where it needs to re-ravel at. I'm trying to see which way I need to wrap it back around my finger. Okay, just like that, y'all. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. so so far so good we do have these halfway taken out the myel organic side came out fine it is really cute it's giving okay it's giving i like it um i'm excited to see what the curl side has to offer but i like how when you take out rods you get like such a tight smiley curl and then throughout the week the curls drop and they're just so luscious so i'm gonna hurry up and take out the other side but i don't see any problems with the myel organic side so they are all taken out guys what do you think about the curl side now i don't know if you can tell on camera but i am noticing when i look in the mirror that the curl side's a little bit more shinier and there's no frizz there's a little bit of frizz coming from the myel organic side and again i just think that's because she didn't have a gel to down everything but it's okay because they still look pretty even for the most part i'm happy i do have a pick here i want some more volume so we're just gonna pick at it just a little bit and i'm only picking at the root y'all when it looks like a wig you know honey you know I need some more volume in my life 
okay like i have some really tight spiral curls going on i love my bangs like these are natural no bobby pins no malip no manipulation nothing honey took them out the rod and here you go cute i just want a little bit more volume but it's okay even when i pick it i didn't get as, as much volume as i like it really looks like a wig bro it looks like a wig it's okay though it's hella full like it is so full guys that is about it um you seen the hairstyle you seen both the reviews in my personal opinion i like the curl side better just because she had that slime honey slicked everything down lightweight it's dry it doesn't have a hard cast to it whatsoever there's no flakes i'm here for the curl side again my all organics looks great too but if she had a gel i will be able to compare them a little bit better because this side's just a little bit frizzy and i don't know i can just feel it doesn't feel the same. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel the same. This side just feels like it's going to hold up. But I'm really happy, guys. At least you got to see both collections in action. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can check out the details below. Um, and I'll have more information on both of the um, collections. But curls, baby, y'all did that for me, honey. Y'all did that. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you love natural hair just as much as me, make sure you guys stick around to check out some of my other videos where I use the curls products that's about it for right now y'all i'm gonna go enjoy my day with my new hair too honey thank you curls did that all right y'all without further ado i am gonna let you guys go my name is Aaliyah. this is as always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces Bye.